Hey guys, welcome back to part 15 of our playthrough of Life is Strange. If you haven't checked out the previous episode, make sure to check it out before watching this. We are picking up exactly where we left off in the last one. It was a really relaxing ending actually, where we were just chilling in bed, there was some nice music on, and uh, it was a, ni a nice little feel to it. But we are cracking on now. We... I, think need to get back to Blackwell but I feel like there's gonna be some uh, I don't think I'll be blushing today. there's gonna be some backlash from what happened in the previous episode I still feel guilty for not busting out of here to stop David from hitting Chloe yes I might go to hell for this but if it saves Chloe we'll pay it back somehow I was such a wuss to cower in the closet while David hit her. Well, yeah. Let's get dressed. Ugh. Still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion horse. Okay. Time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Ah, uh, okay. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. Are we going to get to choose? But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example... I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Interesting. Fuck it, yeah. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. Nah, this is getting, You're like, pretty girl. full on. It's gonna get, like, some fucking... Oh, man. That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Gonna get some, like, fucking sensors on our video soon. Oh, what are we gonna be rocking? I like the shirt, to be fair. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Mm. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Nah. Maybe not. <laughs> Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Oh, we got a new look. Go, Max. Um, I don't really think there's anything else to check out in here. Let's just head downstairs and see Joyce. Oh my god. That smells so... Oh, no, it's Kate's mum. Kate has left us for another world, which will always be with us, and I know she wants you to have a long, dynamic, blessed life. Our family will forever include you in our, in our prayers. Peace and joy. Oh, it's her dad. It's, amazing. it's like when we were kids here. It feels so good to wash my face after all that chlorine and hiding. Can we dye our hair? No. We can brush our teeth. Ironic is I always hated it when Chloe used my toothbrush. The fucking bird's still here. No way. That's the bluebird I saved Monday in Joyce's room. Chloe has had this damn dirty pirate towel since we were kids. <laughs> Serious flashback. They need to get rid of that bird. Let's head downstairs for breakfast. See what the crack is with Joyce. Lots of family photos. Oh, is David here? No, good. 
Let's just speak to Joyce. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Uh, I, I mean, Max. Who oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. That's so awkward. Thank God, you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Let's go pancakes this time. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. We went for bacon omelette last time. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I'll get in the bin. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. I don't want to. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Why can I not get in the fridge? How can I get this shit? Oh, it's here. I was gonna now say. The mother's milk. Who drinks beer this early around here? Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Where are the eggs? Where are the eggs at? Jeez, oh, can you help me get this bird out of here? Cereal. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Now, where do you people keep the eggs? I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Am I just being blind? David, this is Officer Corn. Just want to let you know, your stepdaughter's car was identified near the Blackwell campus last night, around the time of the break-ins. What? Give me a call soon. Are you in trouble again, Chloe? Don't you sleep? Nah, I'm gonna go back and get rid of that. Message deleted. <laughs> Goodbye, message. I think Chloe has earned a break. Wowza. Chloe still eats the same cereal. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. I legit cannot find these eggs. Why are they by... Why would they be there? The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Why would they put them there? Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. Yeah, I'd me too. I'd love to think that too, Joyce. But we are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or Not gonna happen. Wherever she is. Um... Rachel in trouble. I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. She probably would be, I to be why fair. Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Nah. What? Uh, no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. I just wish you could have stopped Chloe from getting busted by David for that joint. I know, but it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me what, a century old? You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila. A breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Ah, oh, Joyce is a true champ. I feel like David's gonna come in. There's gonna, there's gonna be a scene.
I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Dig in. There was literally nothing on that fork. Anything else for us today? Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. I guess nobody wants to I've already looked at all of this shit. Seeing you again? Ah, oh, made me remember so much. Throwback. Of these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> Is that the one we've got now? It was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this. And, and, and he did. No, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Here she comes. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Oh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I, I see what we can get find. Into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Okay. See if we can find something. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. No. More likely to be the day that they got, um married or something. Nothing to see here. I'm not trying stepdad. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. Naturally, David would Did buy a heavy-duty military padlock. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she's still... Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Don't know, it's quite a long... I could try the license number for the password. Nah, who uses that as their password, man? Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Ah, 
That's cute. Could be a password here. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Hmm. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. Uh, he kept the note that she left him, to be fair. Um, let's see what we've got. Let's try personal. No. Um, family. No. Nope. Ah, bastard. Such wrong. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Let's go back. Uh, I don't know what to try. Um, it's just not going to be stepdad. Worst hacker ever. Magic Eight Ball says no. Maybe we just haven't found it yet. So what have we tried? We tried stepdad, we tried that number. We tried all of these? Yeah, we did. So what else have we got? David has been dragging his head around since 2001. Maybe. Let's give it a try. Try again. I genuinely have no idea. I don't want to go back in. Oh, there's a tape. Obviously, David's parents care about him. Should that try date out. might be a good password. Come on, please be right. Wow, get in the bin. I genuinely don't know what else to try. I still need to find the password to David's computer. Play tape. Chloe can't get another gun now. Maybe it's like the padlock oh, code or something. Comfort. Naturally, David. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. For God's sake, let's try that. Such wrong. Still no. Can we just try like password? Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. All right, we'll try this. See if we have any luck. If not, I'm just going to cut to when I find it. It's got to be that. It's the day they met. 
Yeah. Score. Max the hackers. Finally. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Hmm. Interesting. So she was picked up for possession. Um, officer was called in. Bag found to contain various illegal pharmaceuticals. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. And drugs, drugs. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. Can we lock it again? Whoa. And this is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. We're just gonna leave it unlocked. Oh no, here he is. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening Fire. students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Obviously, we're going to side with Chloe. Fuck you, David. You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even hit your stepdaughter. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Chloe was doing drugs. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Oh, I feel sorry for yes, Joyce. David, why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh, you're turning on me now, huh? Of course, women always stick together. Well, screw you. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You Oof. can't. Kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm outflanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once. Just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. Well, that was a, a tad awkward. Um, we're going to leave this episode here, guys. We'll come back in the next one. We'll probably go and uh, speak to all the characters and find out what's going on. I don't think many people will have sided with David then, considering the whole game has been against him. But I, I am kind of intrigued what would happen if you, if you side with him. But anyway, guys, we'll be back in the next episode pretty soon. So until then, take care and peace.